So right now I'm here with Ian and Carl from Where Earth, Where Earth, Where Earth Comics, Rare Earth Comics, talking about their sh series Doctor Atlantis and Shadow Tracers. So is this your first New York Comic Con, guys? It is not our first New York. No, we've been coming here for a long time, since I believe the third New York Comic Con. Yeah. It's not too bad. New York Comic Con's been around what nine years now, something like that. Yeah. It's it's been a while. So. Tell people who aren't familiar about Dr. Atlantis and Shadow Tracers. All right. Well, um, first of all, talk about Dr. Atlantis. This is our standard sales pitch, so I'm going to get into autopilot here. Uh, Dr. Atlantis is a steampunk series created by Carl Mefford and myself. It takes place on the high seas in a world that really is flat, and the ocean seems endless. And the main character, Dr. Julius Fowler, takes his steam-powered ship out into the endless seas to explore the unknown. Uh, Shadow Tracers, much more simply, is our teenage superhero book set in our hometown of Hartford, Connecticut. We tackle the age-old question, how do you solve crimes if you don't have a driver's license? Which, come on, I know this is a problem that we have all dealt with before. It's, it's a relatable issue. Uh, they're both really fun series, and uh, we put a lot of heart and soul into them. So, how did you two guys meet to start working on these books? Well, we actually go way back. Uh, this guy was good friends with my older sister uh, back in high school, and Back in the day when I was reading some really terrible comics, he came along and turned me on to people like Scott McCloud, Frank Miller, Grant Morrison, Alan Moore, and like that's when comics started really blowing my mind, and, and I got the bug. Mm -hmm. And I started uh, doing some drawings and saying to the, uh, this guy, like, you know, when I get older, I'm going to make comics. And he was very much, oh, yeah, sure, kid, that's great. And then uh, years yeah. later... Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to jump in here. So what he's neglecting to say here is that... At that time, we were just sitting around spitballing ideas, and we came up with this Flat Earth series with this steamship, kind of Jules Verne. And I was a total douchebag, and I was like, kid, you know, if you ever get good at drawing, we'll make a comic. And then, like, ten years later, he comes back and, like, and he learned to draw, and he really learned to draw. And we had to put our money where our mouth is and, and really make this comic, and I'm, I'm really glad it happened that way. So this has been in development then for quite a while. Oh, yeah. Since the dinosaurs, essentially. We've been dinosaurs. Well, at least since Atlantis was above the world, ocean. So, Dr. Atlantis, Shadow Traces. Yeah. Where can people find these if they're not here at Comic-Con? Right. Um, Dr. Atlantis uh, did have an international release. You can find it at most comic book stores. But the best place to find it, honestly, nowadays is at rareearthcomics.com. There are a few different ways that you can get it. You can buy our stuff on Amazon. You can get it from Indie Planet. But really... Going through our website is probably the best way. And same thing with Shadow Tracers? Absolutely. Okay. And last, anything coming up that people should know about, should be checking out? Because Dr. Atlantis, you said, is done. Shadow Tracers just started. Absolutely. Well, here's one thing. Um, Shadow Tracers um, has actually been going on for a while, but me and art director Dave Robles are putting together a relaunched Shadow Tracers single graphic novel that we're extremely excited about. And Carl, I know, has some stuff in the works. I've got too much stuff in the works. Uh, I've got my ongoing webcomic, Joyriders, and um, uh, a project which I haven't really officially announced yet, but it's going to be kind of a, um, a, a prehistoric epic, kind of in the vein of uh, Savage Sword of Conan, and that's going to be out uh, sometime within the year, maybe by uh, October 2017. Um, and if I could say, I just want to uh, piggyback on Carl's comic, Joy Riders. It's a fantastic ongoing web series, free to read, like most web comics. It's got over 100 pages of content at this point. Anyone wants to jump in, it's a really wild ride. All right. So we've talked to the creators of Dr. Atlantis, Shadow Tracers, Rare Earth Comics. Check them out. You can find their books everywhere. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank Thanks you. a lot.